Good evening, this is Christina, and welcome to my channel, My Intuitive Sense, plus my two cents. Today, the video that I'm doing is not really going to be an intuitive reading. There probably will be my two cents in there for sure, but I'm going to keep it short because I just really want you to listen to somebody else. What I want to share, uh, why I'm doing this is because about four years ago, I had a vision um, in a meditation where I saw very clearly two rows of children and a couple of women that looked like they were in some sort of a tunnel and they were staring at me. And I was like, who are you? Where are you? Why are you in front of me? I don't understand. And there was nothing. It was silence. And they just stood there staring at me. And so I said, okay, well, I'm just going to keep it in my mind and be open to see where the message comes. Well, within six months, I came across a young, beautiful woman named Allie Carter. And her story is heartbreaking. It's nothing new. It's been going on for ages. I know someone here whose daughter and granddaughter was literally kidnapped. Thankfully, we got them back, but they would have ended up on the same road. So since then, I've been tuning in to check on Allie and see how she's doing. Please listen to her story and please ask, where are the children? Why aren't we talking about the children? Screen recording, thank you so much. Yes, please. Um, this won't be long because we have some, we're on our way to tie up some loose ends with some stuff before we have to move again. So, um, this won't be long, so thank you for screen recording. Um, my mama's right here. Say hi. Hey. You know, the twin, everything, <laughs> y'all know. Um, <clears throat> hi. Um, my name is Allison Leilani Carter. Um, I'm going to turn the comments off for a section sex sex section sec, uh, second so i could get this out and already i am slightly sweating hold on because <laughs> i just want to get this out quickly because i got a lot to do so um, i'm just going to turn the comments off and i'll turn them back on and we'll be live again this just we gotta do this fast so hold on i just want just need everybody to stay with me okay so if you can if you can heart me over here if you can still see me I'd appreciate it so I know you're still with me and you didn't cut out and I'm not being shadow banned because my account is shaking okay so um hi <laughs> my name is Allison Carter my mom's name is Shelly Carter um in 2021 we did a live interview with Maria Z <clears throat> we went viral in 2020 um today is September 23rd. 23rd? Yes, it's the 23rd. 23rd? Yeah. Yeah, September 23rd, 2024. Um, in 2020, I went viral and we lost our home. Um, we lost our animals. We lost everything. I am a dance teacher. I was um, working as a choreographer, an after school teacher, a um, volunteer for doing hair at foster care agencies for free. I was <clears throat> starting to turn around and try to feed the homeless and go back to where I come from, packing backpacks and things for children. Um, I don't need everybody to love me. I don't need everybody to like me, to each its own, right? I have been screaming underwater since I was three months old. Um, I went into foster care at 13, 14. I, um, we tried to do a case against Riverside County Child Protective Services because Riverside County, do you hear me? Riverside County Child Protective Services was involved 
in my trafficking. Can y'all still hear me? Can you just? Cool. Thank you. So, Facebook, you good? Can y'all hear me? Hi. <laughs> yes, you. Hi. <laughs> Can you hear me? Cool. Thank you. Um, I never thought that we would see the day where Diddy would get arrested. And I told you guys in that Maria Z interview in 2021 that no one tells on Diddy. P. Diddy. All right. Just the same way nobody tells on Denzel Washington. People don't usually talk and stop and think about the children victims that are going through things right now as we speak and the ones who suffered through all this bullshit. I decided to stop for a second and do some projects with some with with projects all around because we just said, you know what? This is our life. It's not changing. We stopped somewhere and I've been hiding. My mom and I have been hiding. We've had our head down. We've tried to back up. We've tried to tell you everything that we can. And now we have people messaging us, investigators, people that want to talk now when now it's because it's trending. We're still not on the subject of the kids. All the adults are covering their asses. All the adults are, I left at a certain time, yet you knew children were there. You knew these parties were not okay. They weren't freak-offs. They were satanic ritual orgies. Get it straight. It wasn't just adults in these parties. The adults were responsible for the child sex slaves that were in the party. And one of those children were me. Now, those who are trying to come at us now, talking like, oh, well, we, oh, now the ditty's out, now that you can talk. For why? Because we tried to have a case with Child Protective Services. We gave them eight months worth of evidence. Eight months worth of evidence. That didn't even do a crumb. They took that case and they hit it. If you are a survivor and if you are a real victim, be careful. Because these hotline numbers that they're putting out, I don't trust them. I wouldn't do it. They take your information to see what, what, what you have. They're taking inventory. And then they shut it down. Mm -hmm. They're taking inventory. So don't trust them. <clears throat> Don't trust the feds. Don't trust the judges. Fuck all y'all. You're all guilty. You're all corrupt. Any attorney that's taking money to defend Diddy, <laughs> you're nasty and vile. That's blood money. That's blood money. That's all blood money. You do know that, right? Whether you take money from him to shut up, whether you take money from him for period, that's blood money. I don't want anybody's money. Not even the same. And let me make something very clear. Even though it runs in my family, you can't fake your death. That shit is expensive. We don't have that money. We don't have the military involvement. We are not working with white hats. We are working with everyday people who can come out and do something when they can. Who can come out and say I can be security when I can. Who can come and cover us when they can. But that's not all the time. Right now, we by ourselves. We can call on some angels. Yes. These are everyday people. They're not white hats. Get it straight. There's no witness protection program because how well is the Secret Service doing protecting your former president? <laughs> they not even doing their damn job. <laughs> even the photographer can get the shot. And including the people that can get the shot. Let's be real. Don't do the Lesane bullshit. Don't. <laughs> Don't do that either. You want to know why? Because that all circles back to the military. That all circles back to fake arrest. That all circles back to lies. And not everybody can fake their death. Even though some of y'all are sitting pretty trying to make the excuse of, oh, well, they were so evil. I was just trying to be undercover. No, bullshit. My face is out there. You little punk. My face is out there. You pussy. No, and and I see a lot of you people out there like, oh, they faked their death and they're going to come back. No. no. 
That's no. bullshit. No. Uh, Joan Rivers, you were up there partying uh, with Michelle, Manchel, Lassane. You were doing some dirty, vile shit. All of you. So any of these people that they're going to try to revive and prop up, bullshit. No. Bullshit. You see all the people running? They're ducking and hiding because everybody knows that there was children there. But we're still not talking about the kids yet. When are we going to talk about the kids? Everybody's demanding something from the victims. Why aren't you demanding it from the news? You know he's about to turn into another Epstein, and then the list follows, and it circles back into a web. So why isn't anybody demanding any information on the kids? Huh? Where'd that supply chain come from? Do you think that thousands of bottles worth of baby oil was for thousands of who? $65,000 worth of hot dogs and pizza was for who? Trafficking over the border was for who? Child Protective Services is your supplier. Is anybody going to talk about that? The immigrants that are coming across the border, that all those kids that they were just scooping up out of boats and out of the water, they're now coming in and they're throwing them right into the system. Aurora, Colorado, Springfield, Ohio. Where do you think all those kids are going? This ain't about an election anymore. Y'all know that, right? The election is canceled. Because everybody that you love, you don't live in the world you think you do. Everybody that you think is not guilty is about to show you who they really are. I've been screaming for years. So now, if you see me over here trying to live a normal life and tying up loose ends as justice, mind your fucking business. Or don't. Or don't. We were followed the night that Diddy was arrested. I left a place that I was in, minding my own business, finally trying to stop for a second and get my life back. And you know what? I'm not even upset about that. I'm upset about the fact that I have to walk back into this place and I have to tell you all goodbye. So if you know who I am and you know me as justice, you know I'm about to walk into this building and tell you I got to go. Nobody ever thinks about the victims. Nobody. The victims' lives get turned around when the predators' lives want to just get announced. You slap them on the wrist and you bring up every source of trauma for the victim. But nobody wants to stop and think about that. We're not talking about the victims that are still going through the shit right now with other people who are running to cover their ass and deleting their social medias. Pink, Megan Fox, Tyra Banks, Steve Harvey... Why are you running? You know what a part of me feels like? You know what? Good run. Because then you get to see how it feels to have to jump and throw everything that you give a damn about away for two seconds. Get a moment of peace for not a damn moment. Not a moment of peace. You take it and you, you run with it because you're happy about the peace. But then you see how it feels when they get the sh when they get shaky. You see how it feels when the world is a little quiet, like, oh, my superstar, my idol. What about the victims? Our PTSD lives on every damn day that they did what they did. But it's only talked about when it's trending. We got legal evidence to drop. I just don't know what's the point. Yeah, I was at a Diddy party. I was one of the party favors. But I told you, nobody tells on Diddy. Maria Z, I did that interview in 2021. Seven months ago. We made sure, I already knew, <laughs> that Diddy and Oprah is about to get arrested. I already knew that, seven, eight months ago. We went and made sure there were sworn documents. We have them. When we went to Colorado for the A to Z event, we had a lot of legal evidence that we made sure we already had because we knew a list of people were about to get got. You can't run for that long. I'm just shocked we're finally seeing the day. So thank you so much for listening. We got to go and tie up some things and then we'll be back. But we got to move because we don't want to be sitting ducks. Not that that does anything. It just disturbs our peace one more time and it's bullshit. I'm not the only one. 
There are too many victims. Victims that you don't even know their name. Victims that you'll never hear their laugh. Victims that you'll never know who the hell they were because everybody was so busy talking bouncing to their music. Didn't I tell you? Music is a diary. Are you now figuring that out? If you're listening, it's one thing when you hear it and you feel it. When you feel it, you can actually hear it. When you hear it, you can actually feel it. Do you understand that their music is their diary? All these rappers, they're telling you what they did. The music, they're tell it's telling you what they did. The comedy and the art is a reflection of life. I got a reflection of life for you. And not that it, I don't even, I did, bleh. <laughs> Who to give it to, I don't know. And if you're if you're trying to come towards me right now thinking that, hey, maybe she'll testify. Testify against what? I don't trust none of y'all. Testify against who? <clears throat> testify against the same corrupt justice system that's not doing a damn thing for anybody? Let's be clear. You federal prosecutors, you have a video surveillance from Diddy's, Diddy's house from back from 2008. Look in that 2008, 2010 span. You'll find her video there. You want to send it? <clears throat> send it over? She'll say, yeah, that's me. Then you can do what you can do. But otherwise, we're not messing with you. I don't trust none of y'all. I see what you did to Trump. A lot. I see what you do to everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. Ask me if you've ever gotten a fair trial for any damn thing. Is there justice for you? No. Ask me why I'm going by justice right now. Because I understand that. I get it. My bones will never be the same. My heart will never be the same. My soul will never be the same, but I'm still sitting here. So I'll still continue to try to do what I can do. To be a voice for my friends that are no longer here and for the kids who don't have a voice right now while everybody is too busy running towards the adults. Right in the comfort, grown as men that you know are wrong. Everybody, no. Not that black man. No. That can't be true. No. He can't be having satanic rituals. No. There's no way. Yeah, there is. And now you see. So now what you gonna do about it? Still, here we are. With everybody, I want evidence, I want evidence. You got it. Now what you gonna do? Those parties involve children. The media is making it sound they like They don't it just was involve adults. children. They involve animals. The adults who are swearing up and down, I left at one o'clock in the morning. You shouldn't have been there in the first place. You You're shouldn't disgusting. have been there. And on top of that, if and you knew... <clears throat> That there were children coming in after a certain hour. Why the hell didn't you say anything until right now? Coward. All these people. I knew. I knew. I knew he was crazy. So you guilty. I told you everybody guilty. You're guilty. Get that shit straight. I don't care who it is that's saying. Uh, I, I left at one o'clock in the morning. Because why? Because why? You covered your ass. Denzel, you a damn liar. Lecrae, you a damn liar. And now, and now, and now we're going to delete like tweets like that's going to help anybody? No, we cannot run to another country. No, we cannot fake our own death. No, there's nothing we can do but continue to keep on kicking. And at this point, you better make sure <laughs> that if you go to do something to me or my mama, we've already, made that, we've already <laughs> made that talk. Don't miss. Right here. Okay? Because I'm tired of being your puppet. So um, we'll post what we need to post soon. We'll be back soon. You, you people that are listening, that are angry right now at the things that have gone on to the children, 
you guys need to, to rise up and you need to start demanding that all these um, depositions and information gathering, that needs to be made public. They need to stop hiding that behind closed doors. Demand the, the media. <clears throat> Demand from the media. Because why are we doing another Epstein? Why are we doing another Epstein? You know damn well he's Diddy didn't kill himself. Let's just do that now. We know that. Okay, everybody's clear? Yeah, we know Diddy didn't kill himself. You need to hold everybody's feet to the fire, and this stuff needs to be transparent. It needs to be seen. There needs to be nothing going on behind closed doors. It needs to it's be made enough. public. It's been enough of closed doors. It's been enough. It's been enough since I was even a thought of. It's been enough since I was three months old. It's been enough before me. It's been enough after me. It's been enough of the bullshit lies in the closed doors. It's been a fucking enough. Child Protective Services, you next. Where are they getting these supplies of kids? Ask them. I'm sick of covering for everybody. Kill me. I dare you. You tried all my life and I'm still sitting here. That right there proves who my God is. So you can continue because at least I know where I'm going. And when I get there, I can talk to my friends. <laughs> really can. Got a lot. I got a bone to pick with Jesus. But I got to talk to like, It's fine. It's fine. And yes, my pinky's broken. For those who keep circulating this picture of this girl with a broken pinky. Yeah, my pinky's broken. It was broken at 12 years old when I tried to fight back and that didn't work. So there's a lot of parts of my body that pops and locks and shit because a lot of people started tying me up. And I'm really small. If you've ever met me, I'm really, really small. So people used to use me a lot for baby jobs. So people used to use me a lot for party favors. That party favor that I was on the table, I wore wigs too. too. So if you want to turn those videos around, I have a wig on for some of those. But yeah, my pinky's broken. And so is my toe pinky. There's a reason for that. If you're a truther, you need to look up party favor effect as it relates to Diddy's freak offs. <laughs> this is not just one problem. This is decades worth of an issue. You know that, right? Decades. He's one of millions. The party's just been going for forever, and everybody just got there. Hello, and thank you for those who are like, I've been sitting with you this whole time, and I believe you. Thank you. You have no idea how much y'all mean to us. There ain't no money that any, there's no price that anybody could put on that to say unconditionally, I believed you since the beginning. Thank you. Because that shit has been my whole entire life. That's all. I, I don't need any money. I want to go to school. I really want to go to school. It's not even about graduating. It's about the fact that I can. It's the principle of the thing. I can say I did it. Because all my life I've been illiterate. And I've just been a sex slave. And I can do all that. No, I could go to school. I could be a grown ass woman. And I am a woman of my word. I'm a choreographer. And I love kids even though I can't have kids. So if you have met me in this time, I thank you for spending the time that you have with me. Because now that you see all this stuff on Twitter, and now that you see all this stuff on social media, you've met the real me. You've spent time with the real me. You know that I would do anything to keep a child safe. You know that I would do anything to have some peace. So if you have met me in this time, under the name of justice, you now have gotten to know me. So whatever you see on social media, thank you for making that decision to say I've seen this and I've seen this. And now you can use your brain to see the truth. So we'll be live soon. And we'll also be dropping an affidavit soon. I don't know what's supposed to come from that. I don't even care. <laughs> it is what it is. So... All insurance holders on standby, please, because I have a feeling this shit is not going to end. <laughs> you know the drill. We're at the starting line of all kind of bullshit again.
Hopefully it's not going to pause. Hopefully we're not going to stop. Hopefully it's not going to be a slap on the wrist and then he kills himself and then he sit in the jail cell and everybody goes back to putting their head in the sand. Hopefully people understand that this is not about an election because the election is canceled because everybody is on the list. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They make sure in those parties that they have blackmail evidence. So if they go down, they take in everybody down with them. I pray to God that this is the day. I pray to God that this is the time because all the victims deserve some type of justice and it's just a matter of taking accountability and somebody saying we are fucking sorry that we didn't hear you guys forever ago. There are people who are dead. There are babies who have lost their lives because nobody was listening. And now everybody, I want to listen. You are late. fucking late I'm glad we here but you're late I'll see y'all soon alright well thank you very much for tuning in if you made it all the way to the end of this video and listening to Allie Carter and um, if you are already familiar with her then you know that's wonderful if you are not Please, you can explore Google. There is a there is a ton of videos out there. She's done quite a lot over several years. More and more people are now sharing. They're tuning in. They're finding her because it's time. It's time. So please explore. If you have the ability to help in some way, then please do. If anything, to just share or to get out there to support to support this she has a website aliesarmy.com um she has a tiktok she has a telegram and she has an instagram and you can google that and you'll find all of that i'm not going to post that all here but right now she's easy to find and that is wonderful but the key is we need to talk about the children. We're talking about the adults who are the predators. That's wonderful and that has to happen. But now we need to talk about those that they took advantage of. This needs to be the focus. This is all I really want to say. I could go very deep here. I can get very metaphysical. I can get very esoteric. But I'm not going to do that. I feel that everybody needs to do their own research, to do their own soul searching, to, to tap into their own inner child, to see what it is within themselves that they are not seeing, what they haven't healed. And in that turn, you could open your arms if it's meant to be to assist the other children. Please start asking about the children. That's all I want to say in this. And please tune into Ali. And if you can help by share, just sharing, just share this video. I, I am not monetized, so I will be not making any money. Even if I was, I would demonetize it. It's not about that. It's about sharing, getting the word out there uh, and for people to wake up and start paying attention and recognizing that we are all one. What happens to one affects someone else, whether you're aware of it or not. As the collective, we have the power over the few. Please, open up your heart and ask about the children. Thank you. Please share.